Um, continuing on from this, quickly talk about this one. This is pretty distressing, in it. I feel like I feel like this is really sad. Um, Curse your TMZ again. Adas confirms more Yeezys on the way, but with different name. Imagine how brutal that must be to create an entire division. Well, he didn't obviously do it on his own, but he did it with help. But still, the entire division at Adidas called Yeezy. You basically bring Adidas back from the dead. You allow Adidas to temporarily jump over the jump man to the point where kids are flipping Yeezys on a basically weekly basis without any delay. Um, you turn them into a currency. You change the silhouette of shoes, you know, for for forever and ever in terms of people willingly wearing, you know, um, 350s, 700s, and all those kind of shapes that maybe people wouldn't be comfortable with in the past. All those things are super popular and super kind of attributed to your name. You obviously have a bit of a falling out with Adidas, which is obviously your fault when it comes to Yay. But to be in a position where your life's work essentially is going to be sold um, without your involvement must be brutal, especially when you know how much money it makes. Because I think they're alleging in the comment I read earlier article, they're alleging that um, Adidas is going to be saving upwards of 300 million in terms of royalty they would have paid Kanye for the shoes that they're going to bring out in the year. Because from what I've been hearing from people in the community who are part of the industry, they're saying that Adidas is just going to flood the scene with as many easy as they can get rid of. So as many as they can get rid of in the calendar year of next year, they're going to do that. And anything else in the future is whatever else, but they're going to try and get rid of everything they can in 2023. So there's going to be many, many Yeezys that are going to be flooding the market soon. So it's cut your TMZ. It said Yeezy, Kanye West's Yeezy designs will in fact live on Adidas after all, but they're all completely different title when they drop. Adidas Honchos announced on Wednesday the company plans to continue selling more Adidas, also Yeezy inspired shoes starting as early as 2023 but without a trace of Yeezy name, according to an insider. Adidas reportedly emphasized to their shareholders, the company remains the sole owner of the core designs of the current Yeezy in circulation, including shoe silhouettes, colorways. As such, they feel like they have every right to keep hawking them. There was that incredible picture of Kanye. Let me see if I can get it up, actually. Kanye, yeah, that's the that's one. With all of his shoes in a circle, I think in this, you know, maybe in a parking lot of one of his studios, and it showed loads of up-and-coming colorways that were due to come out and stuff, right? And unfortunately, I guess they were thinking about this stuff way, way in advance in the future and shit. So a lot of these shoes are probably going to end up coming out without his approval, like 100 million percent, which must be brutal to take. Obviously, it's all his own fault, like I mentioned before. But still, the fact that this is happening is absolutely crazy. So a lot of these shoes that are here um, are going to probably see the light of day. There's a lot of 350s here, a lot of 700s, uh, a lot of uh, 750s. I don't know what the number of that one's called, but there's many, many shoes on here and colorways included that we're probably going to end up seeing coming out very, very soon. Absolutely brutal, isn't it? Absolutely brutal. Um, uh, it continues there. Adidas is also has also um, gave some sobering financial numbers, noting it expects to lose up to a half a billion dollars in annual revenue as a result of ending the partnership with Kanye. Previous exec says they take a two, 247 million hit this year alone. Jesus Christ. Unclear if it's going to discard the Yeezy inventory they have right now or to retweak and release them. In any case, it sounds like sneakers will see Yeezys on the market soon again. Adidas had already signaled this move when they first cut ties with Kanye, explicitly saying the shoe designs belong to them. Kanye has publicly said anything that shoe stance company sells a branded Yeezys. But we know you Kanye's grip to the past ownership as it stands. Blah, blah, blah. But anyway, you know how it is. But in general, the guy only has to have himself to blame personally i feel like he got given a legitimate lottery ticket with the ability to go into adidas and basically make his own thing from the ground up especially because i feel like adidas wanted to be the 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 good flipping um what do you call it um they wanted to be the good route rebound from what he's time a flipping nike they wanted to give him everything he didn't get over there in terms of autonomy in terms of resources all that all that thing oh, was oh i got a super chat here okay let me see. jesus christ <laughs> Donald Dump. Thanks for six dollars. Are you ever gonna explain what happened between you and Dayside? Yeah, 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 yeah. I will, I will, I will. Let me, let me do it after I finish this Kanye thing. I, I definitely will. Kanye thing. He himself to blame. It allowed him the opportunity to be a multi-billionaire. Um, you know, he was in a billionaire. He was going to be multi if it continued on, going from a success to success. Um, setting team. Everything was kind of it felt like an autopilot. Then of course he kind of threw it all up in the air, but. You have to really question his ability to read contracts. 
he seems to always get scummed in his contracts and there has to be a consistency in this matter where of course the industry is what it is but his ability to get scummed in the way that he did in terms of Adidas having all the power to just end the deal in the way that they did without paying him any sort of compensation is kind of wild I haven't heard any news about him taking hey that's a court either that's pretty weird as well um so the fact that he's able to kind of he's able to put that work in they're able to cut ties with him, still make money off the back of his designs without his involvement, and he has to just eat it. It's absolutely gross. As a creative, it kind of hurts me to my core that your designs that you work on and you slave over and that you spend your time over and you sweat blood and tears all over it can just be taken from you and sold without your approval in any way, shape or form because of a deal you sign. It's absolutely heinous because those signs that you sketch on the back of a beer mat or on the back of a napkin, they generate millions and billions for a company. It's no small feat. So um, the fact that they kind of try to make it seem like ideas are 10 a penny and anyone could do it. No, they're not because if they could, anyone could do it. You would have done it easy before he arrived there. So the fact that he arrives there makes it easy, builds up to where it is and then they could just take away from him. It's absolutely awful. But again, you need yourself to blame. Um, it's absolutely tragic to see. But it's also going to be a strong test of a Stan um, fandom. How big of a Kanye fan are you? Because these shoes are going to come out without Ye's involvement on it. And you're going to know they're all going to be like post Yeezy Yeezys, right? Or non Yeezy Yeezys. So if you're a fan and you're a stan and you want to support him, the kind of guys who are out there making the GoFundMe so he could be a billionaire again or a petition, whatever it is, right? You're the kind of person who always excuses everything that he does. And you're a hardcore fan and you own all the vinyls. Are you going to be a hardcore fan enough to not buy the shoes? Will you be able to abstain from not buying them to support him? Because essentially, if you're buying these shoes, you're not supporting Kanye. You're putting money in Adidas's pocket. So can you protest along with Kanye and say no more Adidas and just kind of make your own tip or just, you know, support whatever else he has coming out, whether it's a Puma shoe or a horrible sketcher shoe, whatever it may be. I wonder. I wonder.